Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the new Forza Motorsport and testing it out on the Logitech G920 and the G923 racing wheels together with the driving force shifter to see how it feels when racing and whether true force works on the Logitech G923 and to see if there's any added advantage of having it. I'll also be testing on my Xbox Series X and PC to see if there's any differences in gameplay between the two and details for all the items I'll be showing in today's video are in the description below including purchasing links. But before I begin, if if you're new to your channel hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below. I've got the premium edition of Forza Motorsport which retails for £89.99 and it includes the full game plus the race day car pack, the car pass which gives 30 cars delivered to your game weekly, one per week, the VIP membership and the welcome pack plus you get five days early access of the game. The game took most of the day to install on my Xbox Series X and it takes up 133 gigs of storage. So if you're thinking of expanding your hard disk, I've done a video showing how to expand your Xbox storage you can click the link in the corner or check out the link in the description below. So let me begin with testing out the Logitech G920 and driving force shifter. I've got it set up on the Playseat Challenge X Logitech G edition which is the latest foldable racing seat from Playseat. I've connected the G920 to my Xbox Series X and my TV is the LG OLED G3 which is 65 inches in size. Everything's connected up so we can start by pressing down on the Xbox button on the wheel. This starts the calibration process and once it finishes I can start up the game. Let me go into free play and start up a test drive with the Audi RS3 on Grand Oak Raceway with a transmission set to manual with clutch. So let's test out this wheel and it seems to be working fine as you can see. I'm turning the wheel and it matches up to what you're seeing on the screen but it only covers 180 degrees in the cockpit view. If you turned it further you don't see it turning any further on the screen. Paddle shifters are working fine shifting up and down through the gears and this change is represented on the screen as you can see here. Next onto the pedals the accelerator is working as expected when you press down you can see a blue indicator moving on the screen at the same time showing a progression motion on how much the accelerator has been pressed. Similarly for the brake too where the further you press the red indicator on the screen moves accordingly. There's not an indicator for the clutch but this is used in conjunction when shifting and is only applied if you've set the transmission to manual with clutch and if you didn't want to use it set the transmission to manual. Now testing the same on the Logitech G923 and it worked exactly the same with the wheel and pedals with no difference but there was something a little odd with a driving force shifter which didn't work on the G923 and occasionally it didn't work with the G920 so shifting through the gears did nothing but to fix this what I found was that you just needed to update the firmware on the wheel base and you can do this with a PC or Mac using the Logitech G Hub software. It only takes a few minutes to do and after doing it it worked perfectly so definitely worth checking on a computer to see if an update is a required. And now as you can see when I'm shifting through the gears it's working perfectly with a gear change shown on the screen. Testing with the clutch and it seems to be working as expected so you'd clutch down between gear changes and release the clutch once the gear is engaged. Let's do a test drive and test out with the Logitech G920 on the Xbox Series X and it feels good with the wheel and pedals and shifter being quite responsive but there is a subtle lag when I turn the wheel with what's being shown on the screen. But racing performance wise it's fine you get a good amount of feedback from the wheel with the 2.2 newton meters of torque internally the wheelbase uses a combination of gears and cogs to provide feedback so it's no surprise that the experience is a little bit notchy and noisy but it generally works well you feel the track as you're driving along together with any bumps or knocks feeling good from the experience now i've got the transmission set to manual with clutch and you're able to use a shifter or paddle shifters in this mode and just to note you can change gear in this mode without pressing the clutch without it making any major difference on the Car, but this may be more car dependent I think hence why I didn't notice anything significant. Now flipping over the transmission to manual and this is where you don't have to use the clutch and this works perfectly with the shifter and paddle shifters. Next testing the wheel on a PC and for this you need to install the Logitech G Hub software for the game to work. I've got it running on my Asus ROG Strix G16 laptop which has an i7 processor and an RTX 4080 graphics card. The game takes up 190 gigs of storage so again took most of the day to install so jumping into a race and honestly I didn't notice any difference in performance with it working equally as well 
so no advantage in terms of gameplay and force feedback was equivalent to a console giving a good experience. Next on to testing the Logitech G923 and remember there's two versions of this one for a PlayStation and the other for an Xbox so I've got the Xbox version here so first testing on the Xbox Series X and I'd say it was giving a bit more feedback from the wheel with it being much noisier than the G920 have a listen to the G920 first and now listen to the G923 the G923 felt like it gave slightly more detail from the track going around corners and driving on different surfaces. The experience is slightly more enhanced than the G920, but to the extent where it feels even more notchy than the G920. I was initially thinking this was true force, but looking in settings, advanced options, there wasn't any direct option for controlling true force like there would be for most games with true force support. So I'd say the game doesn't support true force, and just to note, the rev counter does work which is really good to see. Next, testing the G923 on a PC, so jumping into a race, and again, honestly, I didn't notice any difference in performance, with it working equally as well, so no advantage in terms of gameplay, the rev counter still worked, and force feedback was equivalent to a console, given a good experience. The major advantage of having a PC over an Xbox is the ability to use an ultra-wide monitor, or even multiple monitors, which I can confirm work perfectly on Forza Motorsport. So in summary, both the Logitech G920 and G923 with Driving Force Shifter work perfectly with Forza Motorsport. The G923 gives a slightly enhanced experience, but there's no true force support, which I do think is a bit of a shame, but nevertheless, the wheel gives a much better experience than playing on a controller, adding to the immersive racing experience. So there you have it, you come to the end of another video, and I hope it's helped anyone wondering if the new Forza Motorsport works with the Logitech G920 and the G923 racing wheels. Details for all the items I've mentioned in today's video are in the description below including purchasing links and if you have any questions on this let me know in the comments below for those of you who've got to the end of this video please leave a comment with forza g920 as it's nice to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it you can follow me on my socials don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release thanks for viewing and see you in the next one